All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are well, yeah, we are back in Pokemon Liga Crystal, and today we're going to tackle the Azalea Gym. Now, primarily in this gym, I'm going to be using Nake because I want him to really catch up with Quang. So Nake's going to be tackling most of the gym. Um, yeah. Alright, so our first battle in this gym is a double battle. Alright then. Cool. Alright, so let's do this. Let's do some stuff. Alright, cool. Hopefully this will be a one turn KO. Alright, so that was really good. Okay. So... Alright, that was twins, uh, Amy and May. Oh, alright, let's battle this guy now. This guy is incredibly annoying. Because he has a Metapod. And he has a Kakuna. The only problem between these two Pokemon is, the only move they know is Harden. So it's not like they're hard to kill, they just take a really long time. So after this battle, I will never, ever use a Nake against a Metapod again. Do not use a Potion. Oh. So as you might have figured out, it's going to take a while. Alright then. Uh, what to talk about? I think, oh no, I didn't mean to do that, sorry. It worked. Okay, yeah, um... Today I'm going to talk about team building. I know that at the moment, oh, in order for the next gym, I'm going to go ahead and catch Nido Ram Female um, to use against the normal gym because I know that Nido Ram Female and Nido Ram Male, for that matter, uh, they can run double kick, which is a fighting type move. So that will work well against the next gym. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use a Nidor Queen. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. But yeah, I'm gonna use a Nidor Queen. Uh, yeah. What else to use? I know I know I want to use a Horsey or a Crabby or a Shelter. Either one at the moment will be fine, but I want to use one of them. Um, let's see what else. Oh come on, you just had to miss, didn't you? Oh, what was that? Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, of course. Alright. Um, maybe a grass type Pokemon. That might be beneficial, but I can't imagine what I'd use. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. God, I'm really at a loss right now. I don't know. Uh, oh. There really aren't many grass type Pokemon introduced in this game. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. It was a huge misclick. I suppose I could use maybe. Uh, God. I suppose I could use. Choose. I could use Sunken, I suppose, but it's not all that great. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon. Right, there, there isn't a lot of Pokemon to choose from, and those few select Pokemon aren't all that great anyway. Yeah, you never really can find fantastic um, grass type Pokemon. It's just the way that they are. There's only a select few. Uh. Alright, hopefully I can finish it off now. Yes, I can. Well done. Alright, all that was of Catch a Joe for you. And now we will quickly go here before we take on Bugsy. 
Alright. Dash back into a Pokemon Center. And yep. Alright. So let's go take on Bucky. Alright, let's go. And now it's snowing. That's cool. Alright. Alright. Cool. Yeah. Alright, well, here we have Leader Bugsy with his level 16 B drill, which will be annihilated by Neg. Of course, he had to hit five times. Of course. That's just the way it works. Alright, and one more should do it. He uses focus energy. It's probably the last thing I would use in that situation, but anyway. Alright, so that was his first Pokemon. And now we see Bugsy's ace Pokemon, Cypher. Actually, no, I don't want to swap. Alright, so here we have Cypher. Alright, let's take it down. Cool. Alright. So, that obviously wasn't too hard. That was Cypher for you. Really, Bugsy, in general, isn't much of a challenge. He's, he's really easy. Um, yeah, it, it only really does start to get hard. Maybe third gym. And even then, if you have the right Pokemon, it, it's, a, you know, really easy. Easy, so... Yeah, it's really all you can say. Alright. Great, you get Fury Cutter. Okay. What? Was that... Was that Zane? Yes, it was. Well, you know what? I say we take on Zane right now. And we show him how tank I have become. Well, not so much me, but Nake and Quaint. Oh, there's that glitch again. So that glitch doesn't fix itself at all. But that's okay. So Nake's going to come out, and he is going to use Rock Throw. And that didn't do much at all, did it? No, it didn't. Okay. Psybeam? Really? Okay, I'm worried now. So we're going to put Quaint in. Because I really don't know how much that Porygon can do. So, an Ember should finish it. It does. Okay, that was good. Eevee, we're going to keep Quaint in. Because we can. Yep, Ember. Alright, cool. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I really want to use an Eevee. I mean, I'm just going to leave it as an Eevee. And then, hopefully one day... Oh, great. Um, yeah, hopefully someday soon, it's going to evolve into a... Whatever it chooses to evolve into. Espeon or Umbreon. I don't really mind. Actually, no, wait. You need to use... A sunstone or a moonstone on it to get one of them because you can't. I don't think happiness applies in this game. So for that, oh wait, no, we're gonna keep Quentin. So for that matter, we are going to probably get an Espeon. Okay, that's really weird. That Diglett knows Mega Drain. Diglett shouldn't know Mega Drain. But anyway, oh my God, that is terrible. Is what a weak Diglett. Alright, well, that should be the end of Diglett. There we go. Alright, that wasn't hard at all. Zane was a little less experienced than I'd hoped he would be. God, and that glitch is still there. Wow, he's been training 24-7. Alright then. Well, let's um keep going. We beat Zane, and now we can move on. By the way, that uh, battle was optional. You really didn't have to do it if you didn't want to. Alright, and I'm almost out of time. I've got 20 seconds left. So, instead of pushing on and going into Ilex Forest, which we'll do next time, I'm just going to hang around here and see if we can find any interesting Pokemon. And Spiro obviously wasn't an interesting Pokemon. No. Alright, well, that's it.
Alright, okay, until next time, folks.